challenges are what make life interesting, and overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. Today is not only a celebration of achievements, but also an opportunity to laurel the many years of hard work and perseverance in the relentless pursuit for knowledge. Knowledge that will enable these students to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with clear vision and purpose. And as we cap yet another successful school year, we also welcome the next that is more exciting yet a challenging one. COVID-19 pandemic has undeniably changed life in all aspects, and its disturbing effects on our normal academic life cannot be undermined. Although unprepared, we bravely face the challenges of the inevitable new normal landscape of education. After a year of intellectual growth, here we are celebrating our students' academic victory. They've thrived and they survive a school year of extraordinary hard work, dedication, and coping. A gleeful viewing to everyone. Welcome to the sixth moving up ceremony of the Junior High School Completers of Barreto National High School. And at this point, may I invite everyone to join us as we put ourselves in the spirit of patriotism while we listen to the singing of the Philippine National Anthem, to be followed by the invocation, the singing of the Padrigion Three Regional Hymn, and the singing of the Himno ng Olongapo. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Forgive 
Nothing is more gratifying than to witness the growth and development of these learners. Today, as we commemorate this significant milestone, let us also highlight how our dear school have grown through the years. To give us her opening message, ladies and gentlemen, 
I give you the diligent and dedicated school principal of Barreto National High School, Mrs. Maria Criselda S. Jeschada. To the school's division superintendent, Ma'am Lailani Samson Kunanan, OIC Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Ma'am Mylene Minimo, the LGU Barangay officials headed by our Chairman, Honorable Angelito Baloy, parents headed by President Melanie Datu, friends and community members, and most especially the completers. To all of you who are watching this virtual moving up ceremony, warmest good morning and welcome to this important event. It is more than a year already that all of us were disquieted by the pandemic COVID-19. The whole of the city was locked down on March 17, 2019 that break up movements and undertakings in all business establishments and government agencies and even transportation. Help of everyone is the utmost priority until now. Before the pandemic, COVID-19 for sure, Barreto National High School smoothly takes its route to excellence as the school motto says, one team, be, dream big, soar high, she excels in different programs, projects, and ac activities, namely. A recognition for being the first best in school-based management assessment and now the only secondary school candidate for regional accreditation. Brigada Escuela, second placer, first in the following recently conducted activities, Techno Olympics, Tagisan ng Talino in Interpretative Reading, and City Meet in Gymnastics, third in Olongapo City Robotics Cup. Major projects completed were Cover Court, School Pathway, Stage stage renovation let us include in the list the continuing repairs the steel matting of congressional building windows relocation of bulletin boards repairs of school water line including those that are connected to comfort rooms and movable sink and hopefully the following would be the stainless signage BNHS at the school front concrete wall. Relocation of I Love BNHS in front of the SBM building. Provisions of wider room for guidance office. Repairs of faculty room ceiling and dining extension in the principal's office. Monthly activities were also done mostly in virtual platforms such, such as subject area competitions to nurture student potentials. Teachers resorted to adapt in the present situation. Now in the new normal, nothing can put to stop education. DepEd sorted to check and balance readiness of school to another different atmosphere of transfer of learning and required school to craft a learning continuity plan. Information dissemination of this plan was made to in internet web platforms. BNSS opted to have two modular learning activities. The school year started October 2020. There were 128 online learners and 1,147 in the modular. Enrollment increased by 13.33%.
parents were held responsible to obtain and return modules on a scheduled time observing health protocols, wearing face mask shields, filling up tracing records, and social distancing. Procurement also was made to this effect, such as movable sink for hand washing, temperature scanner, disinfection equipment, and materials. Communication and follow-up on the students also occurred via messenger and text all throughout the grading quarters. From then, the school year continues education mostly on no face-to-face -face contact. Teachers as well are given alternative work arrangement, work from home, and skeletal workforce. They too continue their professional development through virtual trainings, conferences, and meetings. Promotions were acquired through CRE classification and ranking of positions. There were one teacher three and two teachers two this year promotion. As the school principal of BNSS, the challenge is to maintain and sustain its performance. Believing that every member of the school community matters, that only in collaboration and camaraderie bounded by trust, truly and only then, we can meet all the standards of success. My congratulations to completers and most of all to all dear parents. Your next journey, it starts here and now. Good luck and God bless. Thank you, Mom Chada, for reminding us of the very significance of this event. To welcome us in this celebration of towering success are the grade 10 students with high honors. Here are Aiko Hart Agapai of Online Distance Learning Modality, Angelica Jones Abad of Modular Distance Learning Modality. Good morning, respected teachers, administrators, parents, and my co-completers. Today is our virtual moving up ceremony. Hence, we should be extremely proud of our significant accomplishment. This day means different things to each of us. To some, it comes as a welcome relief. To others, it is a milestone of success, a proof that we've done it and we've done it well. As we experience big adjustment and encounter difficulties in the war of coronavirus, we also ventured on doing things never known to us before. We were thrown into a thunderstorm of uncertainties and inconsistencies the entire school year. But we fought through it in unimaginable ways. Having surpassed these unprecedented times only proved that we are capable of taking on any challenge that we may face in our life in the future. We are here at this moment where we gather to celebrate years of learning with people who taught and inspired us throughout our lives. To our teachers, thank you for spreading our wings and teaching us to fly. Thank you for your guidance and the good memories that we've had together. To our parents, thank you for the overflowing love and care. To our friends with whom we have spent our four long unforgettable years that will surely be treasured in our entire life. Thank you. Most importantly, let us give great thanks to God for the, all the blessing and wisdom that we receive from Him. Above all, we know that by words alone, we cannot thank you enough. We still have a long way to go through to prepare ourselves for greater work and responsibilities in a more challenging future. It's with special joy to welcome you all to another moment in our life. This ceremony will tell us that you are now prepared to begin your search for your purpose as we look at the faces of our parents and family members let us be grateful for their love and support now is the crowning academic achievement of the years of our growing study and we're all ready to take the next big step in life beyond high school 
As we find our faith in this new chapter in our lives, I hope that we can develop the courage to hear the roar that lies on the other side of a deafening silence and to live our lives with compassion in our heart. Lastly, let me remind each and every one of us not to forget to always leave our hearts above. As one of the grade 9 completers of this school, thank you Barata National High School for the opportunity to lead us here today. Thank you for the education that will be instilled in our hearts and soul forever. My dear fellow batchmates, we will still learn new lessons, take more responsibilities, and achieve goals. May the blessing from above shower unto you all. Let us dream big, aim high. On behalf of grade 10 completers, batch 2020-2021, I welcome you all on this memorable day. May we get what we always hope for. Congratulations to all of us. A pleasant day to each and every one of you. My name is Jalaika Jones A. Abad, one of the aspiring achievers of Grade 10 Curriculum, and I am honored to have this opportunity to speak today. On behalf of all Grade 10 students, I would like to welcome you to the virtual moving up ceremony of Barreto National High School, Class of 2021. First of all, I would like to acknowledge our dedicated faculty administration, especially Ma'am Maria Griselda S. Gastiada, our principal, Ma'am Edna O. Orine, our head teacher tree, and of course, our teachers and our advisors who extend their effort to build up and assure the well-being of students. I would also like to thank all parents, family, and friends for their love, guidance, and constant support. They serve as our inspiration to keep moving forward despite of the hardships we've been through. And last but not least, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to God Almighty for making this event possible and for not leaving us in the darkness of the valley. For the past four years, I am sure each one of us has unique experiences we want to share. Honestly, high school has been a very tough and unforgettable journey for me. I have lost friends, but I gained new companions whom I shared my high school life with. We all have our different circles where, where we share moments of laughter, help each other, and celebrate achievements together. With every victory, we earn an award. And with every defeat, we learn a lesson. The lessons that we learned help us to create a better version of ourselves. And it will continue to guide us as we take another step forward to start a new journey in pursuing our dreams. To end this speech with a quote from Kerry Washington and Oprah, Your life is your story. And the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your potential. Follow your passion and it will lead you to your purpose. Today is indeed the turning of another page and the setting of bigger goals for the future. Thank you, Aiko and Jalaika, for the warm reception. The impact of the global pandemic is all pervasive and in many places, catastrophic. The most obvious implications of the pandemic include the need to close schools and to rapidly ramp up online teaching and learning. We may have resorted to remote learning as a desperate move to ensure learning continuity, but its success will depend greatly on how quality in education can be sustained in the needs of a global health crisis. Hence, this year's theme, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. At this juncture, let us be all ears to the insightful message of our hardworking Secretary of the Department of Education, Secretary Leonor Magdolis Briones.
good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses 
to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, 
remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do, God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love 
each and every one of you. Congratulations. Moving on, let us draw inspiration from the special message of our regional director, Mamey B. Eklar, Ph.D., CESO 3. The school year 2020-2021 will forever be etched in the minds and hearts of every Filipino learner as the time when education took a drastic change. The classroom suddenly was no longer the physical structure in the school, but the virtual platform on the internet or a learning space at home. Teaching did not include any more the chalk and the blackboard, but distance learning activities like online classes, radio and TV-based instruction, and self-learning modules. And yes, the teacher was not only limited to sir and madam, but it also meant the learners, parents, and guardians at home. COVID-19 has definitely changed the landscape of the teaching and learning process. Yet, with our collective resolve and resiliency, which is uniquely Filipino, we vowed not to let this pandemic stop us from making learning happen, from ensuring that our children get an education. Through the DepEd Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan, we operationalized and concretized our vision and mission that our pursuit of quality education must continue despite the pandemic. My dear graduates, completers, and academic awardees of school year 2020-2021, you are the products of this unique period in our nation's education history when we were faced with a tremendous challenge in our learning delivery. Difficult as it may be, you still managed to survive and overcome the hurdles and obstacles owing to your adaptability and creativity. This alone makes you winners, game changers, and trailblazers. To our school leaders, teachers, parents, and other stakeholders who continue to brave the imminent danger posed by the COVID-19 virus to their health and their lives every day, just to make sure that our children do not stop from learning, you are the unsung heroes and frontliners of DepEd's mantra of Sulong Edukalidad. Our dear partners in education who have given immense support to our schools, we did not only push through with the school year. We made sure that our children receive quality learning in the face of these trying times. Strengthening the quality education amid the COVID-19 pandemic is not simply about the use of various distance learning delivery modalities. It speaks about the essentials that you continuously embody, such as your generosity and dedication for education. To encapsulate it in one word, it speaks about our common goal to provide the learning opportunities for our children amidst these trying times. Many years and decades from now, our dear batch 2020-2021, when you will look back at this day of your graduation, completion ceremony or recognition day, you will most certainly remember it with the most unique memory. For one, your day will probably be recorded in perpetuity because it happened in a virtual ceremony. Please do not look at this as a scarcity, but rather as a living testimony of your ability to rise above any adversity. Congratulations, and may God continue to bless and guide you. We are a step closer to the highlight of this year's promotion ceremony. 
I would like to call on once again our dear school principal, Mrs. Maria Criselda S. Destada, for the presentation of the completers, which will be recommended by the Public Schools District Supervisor of District 4B, Dr. Corazon B. Dumlao, and to be confirmed by the school's division superintendent, Ma'am Leilani Samson Conanan, SESO 5. As the school principal of Barreto National High School, I am grateful and honored to present to the school division superintendent the 113 male and 139 female with a total of 252 students who satisfactorily completed the requirements of the junior high school curriculum as prescribed by the secondary schools of the Department of Education. To our Honorable Schools Division Superintendent, Madam Lailani Samson Kunanan says of five, it is my honor to recommend the confirmation of the junior high school completers of Barreto National High School, composed of 113 male and 139 female, with a total number of 252, who are moving up to grade 11 for having successfully completed the requirements stated in the basic education K-12 curriculum junior high school this is school year 2020-2021. By the authority vested in me by the Department of Education as the school's division superintendent of DepEd Olongapo City and after it has been certified by your school principal that you have satisfactorily acquired all the competencies required in the K-12 basic education program for junior high school, I now confirm you completers of Barreto National High School for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations to all of you. At this point in time, let us be emboldened with the inspirational message from our Dynamic Schools Division Superintendent, Mom Leilani Samson Kunanan. parents, our teachers, no? the school heads, and all other guests who are present watching this very eventful moment. It is with pride and joy that I greet all our completers and graduates in this year's moving up or graduation ceremony. This year's theme is strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. It's actually something that we have to think about or reflect on. You know, this pandemic brought about by COVID-19 is actually or has actually brought about a lot of challenges, difficulties you know, among our schools, particularly among our teachers and learners. How can you deliver quality education when there's no face-to-face? -face? And even for our graduates and completers, you know, because everyone is dreaming to have a face-to-face -face ceremony attended by their parents, attended by their loved ones, by their friends and relatives, no? But because of this pandemic, here we are doing this virtual ceremony. But you know, there are a lot of things that we can learn from this pandemic. There was once this story which I read, uh, authored by Napoleon Hill, no? It's about the story of a young miner during the time of the gold rush in Colorado, USA. So this uh, young miner was able to strike gold. And then when he found out about this, what he did was because he did not have the required machinery uh, to dig up the gold, 
he covered again the gold and then went home. And then he told about his find to his parents, to his friends, and to his uh, close neighbors. You know? So what they did was uh, they put their money together in order to be able to buy the machinery needed by this young miner to help him mine the gold. So that's what they did. No? So bumalik sila dun sa lugar, inalis yung, uh, they dug up no? the place kung saan nila nakita yung gold and they started digging up until they were able to uh, mine this gold. No? So ilang uh, gold bars or, or actually yun yung raw material. So nakuha nila yan until, until finally parang uh, they were able to strike a dead end. No? Parang wala na. Wala na silang mamina. No? So, uh, they were so disappointed. Parang, ito lang ba yung makukuha natin? No? So, what they did now was uh, they went back to the person where they bought the machinery. Binalik nila. Sabi nila, we cannot use this anymore. We cannot make use of this machinery anymore. Kasi wala na pala kaming mamiminang ginto. No? So, the person in the junkyard no, was thinking about this. No? So he was very curious. So what he did now, because alam niya kung uh, he knew the right person no, to go to in order to ensure na yung sinasabi nila ay totoo. Wala na nga bang ginto doon. So what he did was, he went to an engineer. So sabi niya, tingnan mo nga itong mga machinery na ito. Uh, punta tayo sa lugar na yon. Sabi nila, wala na daw silang namiminang ginto. No? So, tinignan nila, kaya pala hindi na nag-work yung machine kasi naka-encounter sila ng fault line underneath. No? And only to find out na three feet away na pala doon sa gold. So, imagine because that person, that young man in the junkyard pursued no, yung initiative nung na, naunang miner. So, what happened to him was he was able to mine the gold and he became very wealthy. Of course, ano nangyari nung malaman nung ano, actually the person, yung unang young man uh, na nagmine, uh, ang pangalan niya is Rue Darby. So, when he found out about this, no, three feet na lang pala ang layo niya dun sa ginto. But he quit. No? He quit. And why am I telling you this story? You know, sometimes we are like this uh, young man. No? Uh, considering the pandemic that we are experiencing right now, there are so many challenges, as I've mentioned a while ago. Some of us have quit. Some of us have given up. Siguro yung ibang mga parents, ay, huminto ka na. Walang magtuturo sa'yo. Walang mag-aassist sa'yo. The other learners, we don't have gadgets. We better stop schooling. No? The others who are on modular learning, they have stopped also. So difficult. So many things to do. So many things to accomplish. And there's nobody to assist us. No? So they might have given up. But you, my dear graduates, my dear completers, you did not give up. Because if you have given up, otherwise you will not be part of this moving up or graduation ceremony. And you were able to conquer the gold. And I think that is one thing that we have to think about. No? For some of us, this quality education is something that is very ideal, no? that is very difficult to achieve, especially now that we don't have face-to-face. But if you are determined to really pursue your dream, to finish your studies, to reach your goal, then no amount of obstacles or challenges that come your way will ever stop you from pursuing your dreams, no? your ambition, your bright future, the bright future that you are all aiming for, and even for our parents who are right here right now. What we have to do now is we have to conquer, conquer this pandemic. In what way? What, what brought about this pandemic? This, this pandemic was brought about by COVID-19, diba? So, siguro, the best thing that we can do is conquer this pandemic into something that is good. Turn it into an opportunity. Turn this COVID into an opportunity by how? By showing first your C, your commitment. Commitment to what? Commitment to become good communicators, to become good collaborators, to become creative, and to become students or learners endowed with critical thinking skills. 
use this 21st century skills to your advantage. Now that you may not be on your own because you have your parents, you have your guardians, no? or whoever is assisting you at home. No? So use all these skills in order to turn this pandemic, turn this remote distance learning modality that you have uh, cho uh, chosen into something good. No? This is an opportunity for you to bring out the best in you. Okay? Oh! Try openness. Be open. Be open to different ideas. Be open to different modalities. Be op open to different uh, strategies no? in learning new things, no? in researching, in uh, looking for ways to improve the way you do things, the way you learn. Okay? Openness and commitment. Okay? Or commitment and openness. And what about V? No? All of us, no? All of us, as I've mentioned a while ago, we were endowed or we are endowed with different potentials. No? But sometimes, these potentials are not being tapped. No? Because sometimes you were so dependent with your teachers. Sometimes, uh, during the time when there was still this face-to-face -face learning, lahat na lang nakadepende kayo kay teacher. Kung anong sasabihin ni teacher, kung anong ipapagawa ni teacher. No? But this time, try to be versatile. No? V would stand for versatility. There are a lot of things that you can do. Remember, you are 21st century learners. So, so do not just be confined with uh, one or two ways of doing things. You can explore other ways. No? You can be resourceful and that's being versatile. That's versatility. Okay? Then, of course, I, ingenuity. No? Be ingenuous. Ingenious. Okay. It's like you are all creative. No? Use your imagination. Be clever enough. No? Be smart enough to come up with ways, new ways of doing things. No? Sometimes, you know, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, we always wait for our teachers. We always read instructions for our teachers. We rely, rely so much on books, no? on what we see in the modules. No? But this time, why can you try doing things in a different way? That's being ingenious. Okay? So, ingenuity for I, and of course, D, D for discipline. Discipline is very important. Now that you are left on your own. Pag nasa bahay ka, okay, most of you, lalo na yung may gadget, you're so free to use your gadgets, no? Uh, yung iba, online learning sila, nasa kanila yung gadget. But sometimes, if you don't have this discipline in you, you might explore other no, websites, no? which may not be related to your lesson. No? Or sometimes you might be spending a lot of time using your gadgets, your cell phone, your tablets, your laptops, your desktops, no? exploring other websites no? other than what you should be uh, using in order to learn. No? Things that you should get from the net in relation to your lesson. So discipline is very important. And discipline is also very important in trying to uh, manage your time the whole day. Of course, there are set deadlines or due dates in the accomplishment of your modules as well as in doing online learning. No? But if you don't have discipline, kung wala kang disiplina, kung minsan palagi na lang nagpo-procrastinate, anyway, teacher will still uh, accept my modules kahit hindi ko ma-submit on this uh, deadline or this due date. Oh, and the way teacher will be very patient with me because this is something new. So that's not being disciplined. Okay? And add to that, when you are at home, sometimes you cannot avoid but uh, be expected to do some household chores also. No? So if you are not disciplined, you cannot manage your time well. No? And sometimes you don't have time also for doing other recreational activities like playing, doing your habits. So important yon. So, if you turn this COVID, na parang pag narinig mo yung COVID, nakakatakot, di ba? Nakakatakot is something that is dreaded. But you know, kung yung COVID na dala, -dala mo is something positive, okay, you are turning this COVID into an opportunity. Not so much as something that will derail your studies, no? that will impede uh, your learning. Okay? So, kaya importante na... Tingnan natin itong uh, pandemya ito, itong no new normal na tinatawag natin ito as something new for us and we make the most out of this. Because eventually we will get out of this 
pandemic. We may not know when, but we should not give up because otherwise, just like the young miner, pag nag-stop ka, hindi mo alam, three feet away na lang pala yung gold. Malay mo, nag-stop ka din suddenly because almost everybody nagkaroon na ng herd immunity because of the vaccination, nagkaroon na ng face-to-face. -face. But you stop schooling. So sayang isang taon o dalawang taon na nawala sa'yo o sa inyo. Diba? So, I know we can conquer this. No? The fears that we have with the help and support of your parents who are always there by your side. Your teachers who are willing to assist you anytime. No? Anytime you need help, they are just a call or a text away. They are more than willing to assist you in whatever needs, in whatever way they can assist you. Okay? So, this quality education, Mahirap ba siya? Is it impossible? Dahil may pandemia? Of course not. No? Are you going to stop? Are you going to give up? Because if you give up, then you lose the opportunity of striking gold. Just like that young man. Di pala natin alam. Di ba madalas nangyayari yan? Kung kailan ka huminto, dun mo pa lang. Then the following day, ay yun, ito pala hinihintay ko. Sayang huminto ako. No? Yung hinahanap ko ngayon, Eto, eto na siya. Bakit kundi sana ako kumento sa paghahanap? Okay? So let us not be victims of that. No? Uh, let, let us not lose heart. No? Because the only thing that, that is left for us is yung faith and the hope that everything is gonna be okay. okay? So let us conquer this coronavirus which has caused the pandemic into a clear vision. No? So in this na CV, coronavirus, clear vision, CV. No? So, ganun ang gawin natin. No? Because if we stop, no? if we don't have a clear vision of what we want to happen in our future, in your future, if you don't have a dream, no? that's the end of you. Hanggang dyan ka na lang. No? So, lahat tayo nangangarap. Yung mga magulang natin, di ba? mataas ang pangarap nila para sa inyo. Para ako bilang isang magulang, mataas din ang pangarap ko sa aking mga anak. No? But I keep on uh, hoping no? and I have this faith in my heart that this dream that I have for my kids, for all the children, my children in the Department of Education in Olongapo City, no? will be achieved. No? Just like the line from the song of the movie Pinocchio, sabi niya, uh, if your heart is in your dream no request is too extreme when you wish upon the star your dreams come true so lahat naman tayo nangangarap but we all wish no that these dreams that we have will all come true and why do we have this strong hope and faith because we know God will not let us down. God will not leave us. Because eventually, all of this thing will come to pass. But if we have that dream in our heart, no, we know no, that we can conquer all our fears. And eventually, that quality education that we, uh, we are all dreaming of for our children, for our youth, no, will be realized. So to all of you, my dear completers, my dear graduates, and of course, Parents, teachers, school heads, and all stakeholders of education, I thank all of you and I congratulate all of you for a job well done. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. God bless all of us and thank you. For all your hard work and best efforts, junior high school completers, it is about time to recognize your commitment towards education. Reap the sweetest fruits of your four-year toil. For the virtual distribution of certificates, here are the Grade 10 Advisors of Batch 2020-2021. It is my pride and pleasure to present to you the Grade 10 Completers of 10 Generosity, Class of 2020-2021. Agbalo Mark Anthony Laudenio. He is a potential architect in the future.
Arca Neil Joe Abapo. He wants to be a seafarer in the future. Carbonell John Paul Nilo. He is a potential engineer someday. Castro Verde Francis Simeon aspires to become a pilot. Dolores Brian Carl Gonzalez dreams of becoming a chef in the future. Leonardo Rapi Ibahan, he wants to be a policeman someday. Lopez L.A. Ostero, with high honors, he dreams of becoming a flight attendant in the future. Makabenta Rower Angel de Guzman, he is a potential engineer someday. Nina Jan Patrick Villarreal wants to become a pilot in the future. Mission Jasper Parilla, Jasper wants to be a policeman someday. Napoli Giro Noel Pampolino, he is a potential engineer in the future. Aurelia Jan Jacob Garcia with honors, he dreams of becoming a chef in the future. Peña Markville Concepcion also dreams of becoming a chef someday. Pinkas Jared Jabet Ervas wants to become a seafarer in the future. Reyes Joel Jr. Castaneda, he is a potential businessman in the future. Tadeo Ras Angelo Suma, he wants to be a policeman in the future. Tolejano Gabriel Antonio Alontaga, he is a potential architect someday. Vento Justine, he is a potential engineer in the future. Acosido Jessaan, she wants to be a teacher someday. Amores Jana Yulis Relator, she wants to be an accountant in the future. Calventos Pauline Olpendo, she dreams of becoming a teacher in the future. Cortado Abigail Bansano with honors. She is also the secretary of Arling Panlipunan Club and dreams of becoming a businesswoman someday. Del Rosario Lovely Bosamante, she dreams of becoming a policewoman in the future. Flores Cyril Angelique with honors. She is a potential lawyer in the future. Hoya Margaret also dreams of becoming a policewoman in the future. La Moste Kimberly Baloro, she wants to be a policewoman. Legaspi Elizabeth, with honors, she is a potential doctor in the future. Madera Angeline, she is a potential doctor someday. Mamaril Nicolai Caray, with honors, she wants to be a nurse in the future. Mendoza Angelica May Galatiera, with honors, she dreams of becoming an architect in the future. Mon Kate, with honors, treasurer of Supreme Student Government, she wants to be a teacher in the future. Montehermosa Daphne Ramos, she also wants to become a teacher in the future. Mosota Zamira Renaline Folinara, she is a potential policewoman someday. Reyes Ira Jane Binalay, she is a potential accountant someday. Salcedo Maika Ibon Martilia, she wants to be a chef in the future. Raso Alicea May Estefan, she dreams of becoming a flight attendant in the future. Vasquez Rosalie Dion, she also dreams of becoming a flight attendant. And last but not least, Villanueva Charlotte Madera, she also dreams of becoming a chef in the future. Thank you very much, Tem Generosity. I hope that all your dreams may come true. This is your advisor, Hasmi Say Conception, signing off. Pleasant day to all.
I am pleased to present to you the Junior High School Computers for Grade 10 Fidelity. Agudo Joseph Suyat. He aspires to be an automotive technician in the future. Barbero Giro Panita. He looks forward to a bright future as an accountant. Bautista Christian Lee. He is an aspiring seafarer. Benedicto Mark Nelson Capani. He dreams of becoming a computer technician someday. Cosme Jeric Reyes. With honors, he first.
Congratulations, Junior High School Computers! This virtual promotion ceremony has truly been noteworthy. To conclude today's program, let us lend an ear to the closing message of our dear principal, Ma Maria Criselda S. Chastada. Greetings again to all of you. Indeed, this is the culmination of all the exertion, efforts, na mas damang sabihin sa Tagalog, ambag sa sarili, sa pamilya at sa ating komunidad. Tagumpay na alay para sa magandang kinabukasan in the midst of the pandemic. Truly, when there is a will, there is a way. Congratulations to our parents, completers, and gratitude to all the stakeholders, external and internal. To the teachers who made themselves resourceful and available, worth of appreciation. Job well done to all of you. Good morning and good luck.